What's up guys? Today I figured I'd do a video. Had this uh, hydrostat uh, since 23 and it started acting up so I had to get a new one. Yeah, I figured I'd do a video and show you guys how to hook it up. First thing you're going to want to do is take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew that. That's going to open this door up and then you got a set of wires here over here here and then you get your thermostat wire here and we'll take a look up at the new one so here's the new one this is already opened comes with a little sticker right here in my case this is just a regular oil burner you're going to want to set the switch to z and then basically all we're going to do is take those wires and we're going to connect them up to here as you can see here you have a little sensor this goes after you pull this off, it goes inside, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. So first and foremost, what you want to do is recognize the black is hot, white is neutral. Make sure you turn the breaker off so you don't electrocute yourself. It's really hard to see here, but uh, you want to loosen these things up here. Let's see, that just comes off there. And then this one, same difference and the Romex cables will come out and for explanation purposes which I did not say this black neutral and ground as you can see goes with this Romex if we follow this Romex here and we can look right here goes through the furnace if you can see there's two of them coming through here this one and then you have one here this one runs up to the breaker box and then this one runs back to the circulating pump down there that's where that runs and then again this one here this runs down to the control you have another one of these lock nuts this one's on a little tighter and then last but not least we have our thermostat wires here that you got to take apart and then under here you have a screw and you're gonna have to take that off or out loosen it up and now you can see this moves and then this will come off so all you do is wiggle this off and then that's your sensor in there all that does is you pull this out it acts like your thermostat so this is the part that will do your 180 over 160 again you got this uh, ZI switch we'll take a look at the sticker later what it says but I gotta set my into Z and then you got your low your high and then you're it's saying a differential setting but it's a zone setting that's it now now it's time to put the new one on so you got some plastic knockouts here it's gonna you know depend what knockouts you're gonna take apart mine happen to be the two bottom and then the one up here and then the one down here so after you got the knockouts out you're gonna uncoil this you're gonna feed the sensor right through this hole here and there is a knockout there so we got to take that knockout out so once you have that knocked out you got your sensor through I recommend tightening this screw up and we're gonna go ahead and hold this here and then you're gonna insert the sensor as far back as you can get it and I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand and then we're gonna mount the box so all I did was use a uh, flat screwdriver and I pushed gently until I couldn't push it no more so a little trick is take back this screw out you don't want to take it all the way out and there's a clamp you want to loosen it up and then push it in and then this box will fit back on there and then tighten it up and just so you know you can only push that back so far and if we take a look at the other one you can see what I'm talking about and this is what I'm talking about you have that screw you move this up and down it has a clamp so if you push this up and slide it onto that nipple I just showed you and then tighten the screw this clamps it down after you got that kind of snug all you want to do is make sure this is vertical and then you're just gonna go ahead and snug this down so she don't move now we're gonna start wiring so from the control you're gonna take your neutral wire and that's gonna go to B2 and then your black is gonna go to B1 
Okay, now for the circulating pump, you're going to take the neutral and that's going to go to C2 and then the black is going to go to C1. So last but not least we got the breaker wire, the main. So black is going to go to L1 and neutral is going to go to L2 and then our ground is going to go right here to this little tiny uh, green screw. Alright so once you got all that wired up it's time to turn the breaker on. First thing you're going to want to do is this potentiometer on the bottom. You're going to turn that from off to low to one and if you don't have enough hot water on one, you're going to want to turn that to off. The next you're going to want to do is turn the right potentiometer to 180. And then the low, you're going to turn up to... My boiler, the mechanical gauge, is already at 140, so that's why she's running. So you can see the sensor that we put in here, this wire here, that's detecting that the temperature digitally is 131, opposed to this right there, and it says, you know, like 138, 139. And once you're done, all you do is close that up screw that and you're done. There's another screw clamp over here on the side. All you want to do is just you know tighten that in so it's not flopping around. Let's take a look at that paper now. So here's that paper I was telling you about. You can read it here. Pause the thing and then there's a little sticker down where uh, a side of uh, B1 and B2 